this tutorial, we're going to build a quiz game using three different blocks. First, we're going to be using an if-then-else block that looks like this. We're also going to learn about a loop called a repeat until loop that's also in the control blocks. And lastly, we're going to use a variable. So we're going to use this dark brown block called data. So to get started, I'm going to start by giving my project a name. I'm going to call it Quiz Show. And I'm going to do a save. And now we're going to get going with our Quiz Show game. And the first thing we're going to do is add a flag character, which is going to signal what code is going to run as soon as the game start is pressed on this flag button right here. So let's uh, make a little Quiz Show with three questions. And we'll make it about animals. And I'm going to uh, use these sensing blocks to ask a question. And uh, the first question I'm going to ask is, do whales lay eggs? And right here, I'll put in here, the A choice will be always, the B choice will be sometimes, and the C choice will be never. And you can see here that after this question is asked, it waits. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at this answer, which is also attached here. Now, if I click on this little box over here, you can see that the answer block will be always displayed here inside the quiz, inside the graphics window. And so I'm going to pick that option here. And I can also drag the answer out here and use it in my logic here, which I'm going to do. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say if the answer is equal to C, which is the right answer, then we want to display correct. Otherwise, we want to display the word wrong. So let's do that by looking at the uh, logical operators and dragging out an equals one. And I'll say if answer equals, and then I'll click in here, and I'll put in here C is the right answer. Now you notice I use capital C over here, little c over here. It, it doesn't matter in Scratch. Scratch doesn't care about capital versus small, which is convenient for this case. So I'm going to just put that right in there. And I'm going to say if the answer happens to be C, then what I want to do is I want to say the word correct. And I'll just put that right in here. And otherwise, I want to say that uh, they got the answer wrong. So I'll put in there like that. And I'll put that in there just like that. And so the problem now, though, is that once uh, they get the wrong answer, we want to repeat the question and look for the answer once again. So th the way we're going to accomplish that is by keeping score and only advancing when the score increases. So to do that, I'm going to use a variable. So let's come over here to the data blocks and make a new variable. And I'm going to call this variable score. And we only have one sprite in our game, so it doesn't really matter if we click this button or this button. But I'll just click this one and then add here OK. And uh, you can see that the score now is a set up right here. Now, even though the score defaults to 0, I think we'll just make sure by uh, when the game starts resetting the score to 0 over here. And then when the uh, user gets the right answer in here, what we'll do is we will change the score by 1 right over here. Of course, we won't put that block down here because then they got the wrong answer. We want to keep the score where it is. And basically what we want to do is we want to repeat this sequence until the score gets to a 1. You see, we're going to start with a 0, and it will stay 0 until they get the right answer. But then once they get the score up to a 1, then we want to be able to progress. So what I'll do is I'll put this block in here and attach this block right here. And then what I'll do is I'll say it will keep going until the score is equal to a 1. And I'll just put a 1 in here, type that right in. Oops. I'm going to grab the whole block and put it right in there. So I want to repeat this question over and over again until the score finally gets to a 1. And that's only going to happen if they get the right answer. And then what I want to do is I want to ask the next question. So the most convenient thing would be now to grab this entire block and duplicate it. 
and then we can do this now for the second question and the second question will be something different maybe we'll use a different answer as well and uh, let's see here let's say how many legs on an octopus say a will be six b will be eight and c will be 12. so this time the right answer is b and i want to keep going here until the score of course gets to two and i want to change the right answer to b b and the rest of the code stays the same so let's run this now and see how well it works so i'm going to start it up and you can see that scratchy asks the first question do whales lay eggs and i'm going to put in the wrong answer on purpose i'll put in a here and hit the check mark and you can see scratchy says wrong so this part of the code is executing and you can see scratchy asks the same question again this time i'll put in the right answer which is c and even though it's a capital C here and a little C here, it's not going to matter. See, Scratchy says yes now, correct? And now you can see that Scratchy has moved on to the next question. And that's because this repeat until condition has been satisfied. The score is 1. You can see the score has been updated to 1. You can see that the answer is still showing as C. That was the last answer for the last question. But now when I update it, this one, uh, let's put in the right answer again of B. See, the answer changes here, and Scratchy says correct here, and our game is now finished. Now, we wanted a three-question game. I'm going to leave it to you to add a third question, but I think you can see it's going to be very similar. And with that, you now have enough information to complete the exercises in your online materials.